Hey everyone, this is Phil, and today I'm here to show you the Rubik's Connected Cube, available at thecubicle.com. So what is the Rubik's Connected Cube? This is a smart cube by Rubik's. It retails for $59.99, which is actually a really fair price for a smart cube. It weighs around 112 grams and is about 57 millimeters across. Uh, I say about because the cube actually has a slight curve to it, but uh, overall I would say it's standard size. It comes with this really cool snazzy box and also this charging cable, which is specific to this cube. So definitely don't lose it. Uh, one end plugs into the yellow side and this end plugs into your average USB port, which is really handy. So this cube actually has a lot of cool features and capabilities. So let's just jump in and take a look. First things first, let's talk about the cube. It's magnetic and stickered. If you want a stickerless cube that uses essentially the same app, you can check out the Go Cube. The scheme on this cube is really close to a half bright. Turning wise, the cube is pretty good. It can cut corners forwards and reverse and has a satisfying crunchy hand feel. The weight is a little hefty and the magnets are strong, but those aren't huge problems when you start solving and get used to the puzzle. When you first log into the app, you're greeted with your profile. We've done quite a bit of stuff already, so it displays a photo, personal best, win rate, number of matches, and average time. Before we start, let's check out the upper right hand of the screen. It shows how much battery the cube has. We can review this again after we finish this review to check out the battery life of this product. Alright, so for you speed cubers out there, let's do a quick solve. You can do this by hitting quick timer on the My Cube screen. This works when you have a scrambled cube. If your cube is solved and you make a move, the timer will start running. It would be cool to see a scramble button so that you have room for a hand scramble if you want to do a casual solve. If you want to get a little more serious, you can try the solo mode. The app gives you a scramble. There's more than a minute to do it, so no pressure. After you're done scrambling, the app gives you 15 seconds to inspect, and then off you go. I can see people taking advantage of the generous scrambling time by scrambling the cube minus one move and then inspecting for a long time before starting. One thing that can perhaps be done about this is to have the scramble timer progressively lose time for each successful move you make. The closer you get to finishing the scramble, the less time you have. If you want to scare people less, you can make it a diminishing progress bar instead of numbers so people don't freak out that a number is jumping down. This way, beginners have ample time to scramble, but people looking to appear high on the leaderboards can't over-inspect by around a minute. Now, one of the reasons you're looking for a smart cube is probably to race others online. Head over to ProCuber to do this. The interface is quite simple. Find a room, look for a challenge, and do your best. You have a good amount of time to scramble, 15 seconds to inspect, and both competitors start at the same time. If you start early or make too many mistakes in your scramble, you automatically lose, so be careful. While playing this mode, you'll run into all sorts of people, ranging from guys and girls doing layer by layer to pros like the Vire Brothers or Max Park. Or you might run into me. Friend me if you do. One thing that would be cool is for there to be a button where you can queue up in the same room after you finish a race. Essentially, one button that lets you race again. I love being in the zone and racing and being able to do it quickly would be really valuable. Currently, you have to hit back to matches, which takes you to the room select screen. And not only does it take multiple taps to queue up again, you switch from a horizontal view to a vertical view momentarily. So you're either forced to rotate your phone or use a vertical screen horizontally. Just a minor thing. Let's check out some of the app's other features. First, the solver. If you have a scrambled cube, you can go to the solver, which gives you some notation that solves your cube. It's a computer-generated solution, so it's very short. Scrambling is really interesting. You scramble the cube and the app tells you how strong your scramble is. I have no idea what the criteria is for this. When your scramble is good enough, you race against someone, but you use a short solution provided by the app. If you mess up somehow, it gives you an epic fail text in bright red. I love when apps do this. It's really charming and funny. The last thing you can do competitively on the matches screen is the question mark challenge. For me, it's the face match. This is a race where you try to match a face on the cube by solving certain pieces. I'm extremely bad at this, but it's fun to do every now and then. It shows that there's a lot more to cubing than going fast. You might also notice a game controller icon at the bottom. Here, you can play various games in this section using the cube. In Cubisizer, you can use the cube as sort of a musical instrument and play various songs. In Paint It, you're an artist making cube art. I'm probably not making the most efficient decisions here, but art is art, right? This game is called Simon Cube, which is a memory game. The game shows you a series of moves, and it's your job to repeat the moves. The sequence builds on itself and it gets longer and longer. Repetitive moves can be tricky, so be careful. If you're old like me and remember the Clefairy Says minigame from Pokemon Stadium, it's like that but with a Rubik's Cube. Cube Hero is a rhythm game using the cube. 
Colors race towards you and you have to turn the sides of the cube when the color hits the light. Each side has two lights, so you have to make sure to make the correct turn, clockwise or counterclockwise. This game is honestly pretty tough because you have to make new associations between turns, colors, and visual cues. I never really got to play Guitar Hero as a kid, so this is pretty cool. Last but not least, there's a thing called Patterns. I don't know what exactly this is yet because it says, coming soon. And there's an empty slot. I wonder. Alright, so obviously this doesn't exist, but if this video gets to 2000 likes, I will design a funny, cube-themed fighting game and pitch it to Rubik's. There's no guarantee the game will be made, but it will get a proper proposal. If you want to see this, please hit the like button. Also hit the like button if you like this video, we worked super hard on it. Now we're at the end of this review. The last thing we should talk about is the tutorial. This section of the app is designed to teach a complete beginner how to solve the Rubik's Cube. The design is nice because it feels highly interactive. It asks a lot of questions to make sure you're engaged and paying attention. This is a great way to teach notation, as it's impossible to mess up. The tutorial is phrased in a very casual, friendly tone, which is pretty cool. I'd be very comfortable giving this to a friend with no experience solving a cube as a gift, as I'm confident the tutorial is super effective. So that's it for the review. Now, after we're done with all that stuff, let's check the battery level. This cube doesn't have a gyroscope, so perhaps that's one reason why the battery is still super strong. All in all, the Rubik's Connected Cube is a really fun product. It's reliable, reasonably priced, has cool events, a decent population of users, and it looks like areas are still developing. The app is quite polished, and in my time playing, I haven't encountered any errors. Just in case, this cube is backed by a one-year warranty, which is amazing. We hope this gave you some insight on what it's like to play with a Rubik's Connected Cube. As always, if you'd like to pick one up, you can go to thecubicle.com to get yours. Thanks for sticking around and watching. Hope you have a great day.